Hello everybody, NinK78 back here for more Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we were, uh, we, we saw Leah and Emily's cutscenes, and I hope we could do more today. It is sunny, and it'll be later cloudy in the episode. And we also have built a barn recently. What's in this letter? What's in this letter? A battery pack? Oh, hey, you know what? I definitely have batteries. I went to bed with the hops in, <laughs> in my pocket. How very interesting. Also, some copper. Oh, that's not, that's gold. Alright. Get some stuff put away. Oh, also put the gold bars away. And put this away. Nothing here so far that seems like it's out of the ordinary. It's almost winter! So, it'll be harder and harder to do things within the game. But, Hopefully, we can get as many things we can done before bad things happen. And by bad things, I mean uh, making some things inaccessible to us. I don't know how much will be inaccessible to us, though, considering I am growing things into the greenhouse. But yeah. We wanna try to get things done as much as we can. Looks like we have. Oh nope, those are uh, those are buds, not full fruit yet. All right, we are almost done planting here. Uh, I mean watering, not planting. Kitty, you hopped. Why'd you hop? Was there something there? I want to know. Okay, pet, pet you, pet you cat, pet you, get you, get you. <laughs> I have all the animals here. And let's go check on the barn, shall we? We also got some. Oh, look at that! There's like leaves on the ground when you put like that together. Kind of nice touch. Alright, I petted all the animals, so now we can, uh, we could go process geodes, and I think I will go do that. But first, I'll scythe my way to victory. Actually, I should have checked to see if Robin was still working the, uh, the easiest way is that there's not a thing there. Okay, so that means she's probably done with it, isn't she? Right? It would be like... Yeah, it has the automatic feeder. So that means she's done. Which means I could get better animals. I think I will start with that then. Glad I checked. Let's even up the path over here. Alright. Uh, we also have a Clistolarium working. Got that. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, wait, I need to bring batteries. That's what I need to bring. Yeah. Pam needs juice. Uh huh. So we got a battery for her. Mayor needs a bottle of truffle oil. Fresh fruit is the apricot. Winter mystery. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go to town through the south door. Also, I got a seaweed out of you. Make a seaweed out of you. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Here we are at Marnie's. Marnie. You are, can I purchase? All right, I want to purchase a pig because that pig will make us the oils. All right. Oh shoot. Give me a second. 
<laughs> okay, I got one. Uh, let's call him. Let's call him Biakia. There is two Bi Biakias in Dang Danganronpa. And I think this one is the one that makes the most sense. Also, I'm going to purchase one sheep. Not enough money. Oops. It's 8,000. Alright. I'll get the sheep later. How come the pig costed so much? What the heck? Okay, well. Anyways. We also have to go find Pam and find uh, Clint. Clint closes the store first, so let's go to Clint. And we'll talk to people on the way over. Like Lewis. Hello, Lewis. The smell isn't a secret, but the, s the ingredients are. Okay. Well, now, uh, apparently Gus's sauce isn't quite perfect yet, according to Lewis. So, might want to avoid the spaghetti for a while. Alright, sir, can you process these geodes for me? Eh. And also, eh. Okay. Well, that tends to happen. We also have... To go find Pam. So let's go do that. Or, probably an hour. Give me an hour. I'm surprised you... Wait, so... She's... How are you... You're not gonna watch TV anymore with that. Alright, well, here we go. I got that going, which is good. Also, I remember I saw a worm somewhere. Worm, worm, where did you go, worm? Ah, there you are. Over here. Oh, missed. Yeah, I got the clay. Okay. Alright, and then we also needed an amethyst for George, so let's get an amethyst for George. Cool. I like my fedora hat. It's pretty cool. Makes me feel like a somewhat city slicker. Anyways. Hello, George. Here's your... thing. I'm glad that your grandpa was a professional. I already talked to you today, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright. I am back. I am deciding to just go into houses again. I can talk to people, too. What you looking at? Everyone's going around and doing a Friday tradition of sorts. Have I, like, explored fully around this house? I can't remember. Why Jojako must be stopped? Did you write the book yourself? <laughs> it's right in the teenage years. Well, there's both good reads in there, I guess. Alright. There's also a computer here. I guess for IM messaging. Uh -huh. 11 so solo sonatas for the wooden flute. Interesting. David the guinea pig. It's full of clothes. Wait, there's a sword hidden under the clothes. I see. There's an outlet there. That looks like Chrono still. Console edition a chess set? A spirit board. Oh, oh, we don't want to mess with Ouija boards. Ouija boards are not a good idea to mess with. Alright, can I? Have I tried to interact with this? Altar of Yoga. Alright, that's a weird place to interact with. I'm pretty sure I explored this house fully once. It's loaded with fresh veggies. Well, she has a greenhouse. Caroline has a greenhouse, so that makes sense. Oh, it's 
speaking of her greenhouse. Oh, her tea set isn't there. Okay. Uh... I like how it is in here. Yeah, I make the butterfly dance on my head. <laughs> I wonder how she got the butterflies in here. Does she like, uh... Accidentally let them in the house and it was just like, Oh, hey, come here, butterflies. And like, held out a piece of fruit and like, walked in here and like, just let them in here. Wait. Did one just get out? One just got out. I let a butterfly out. Alright. Well, that just tends to happen. I can't imagine Caroline trying to grow all the fruits in here. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna leave. I'll probably try to try again on a different day to enter this place at night even though you can't enter it past night oh it looks different in here after dark huh that's kind of neat oh whoa hello what since when was this considered a scandal? No, I don't. There are other things in life than a job. <laughs> I scared you. Do I dare? I'll just keep it a secret. I'll be nice about it. You're awkward about it. Um, I don't know how I even got there without you, him noticing or you noticing because I would have had to come from the store. Whoop, come from the store, walk around behind here, and just hide. No, don't go back in the bush. What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I make no sense sometimes in the game. <laughs> Alright. I haven't milked the cows or anything, so I should probably go back and do that. Oh, and Pam actually does move away from the bus after a while, so you can't go to the Calico Desert at night unless you had a uh, what's it called you have to have a a, a, a totem yeah a, a warp totem I'll put those away all right now let's go check on the chickens there is a lot of stuff in here They're all sleeping. It's so adorable. Alright, let's also go check on the cows. Well, I already... I, I need to remember not to say it more than once. Or, well, I can. I don't know. Wait. I just milked the... Oh. Biakia doesn't produce milk, and he's trying to sleep. Alright, I should see him in the morning so that I can look at how he works, because I think he has to grow before he can get truffles. Also, do the truffles appear in the barn? That is something I do not know until I learn about it. There's a bunch of food, though, that I can get, so I'm going to get it. A 
Okay, now let's go to bed. The cat is in. Poor kitty. Alright. That made up for the pagan stuff. Okay. Let's see what the next day will bring us. Alright, in the next video, we are starting with beautiful sunny day. It's cloudy right now, but it'll be sunny later. Oh, shoot. I did not bring out my calendar. should probably do that. Also, letter. Ooh, ice cream. Also, stuffing. Yummy. Usually I have my screenshot of the calendar up, but I forgot to do it before I started. Alright. Well then. I'll have to check the calendar then. For birthdays, because there could have been a birthday. And I forgot. I wonder if Sandy's birthday shows up on the calendar now that I've met her out there in the Calico Desert. If she has one, I don't know if she does. Get everyone planted out here. Alright. Get this. I know, uh... It's the day before uh, the 28th that it's the Spirit Festival. Like, the Halloween. And it probably might not be as different as I imagine. So we'll have to see how that goes. Izuru, you're, you're looking swell. He's always like guarding the front of the chicken coop, which is good. Good old Isuru. We also can go in the greenhouse so I can see what it looks like during the daytime. Cause I never go in here during the daytime. And I should appreciate that more. And also it makes it easier to tell which plants are what. Also I think uh, this might need some water. Fortunately. I can have water at any point. Hello. There we go. I watered it. Alright, now let's leave. And go see our other farm animals. I distinct the cow, or the goats, so... Kind of makes it harder. Miyakiya is just a baby, so he does have to, like, grow up before I get truffles. But you know what? At least I started the quest and that's all that matters. Alright, let's get the pomegranates out. I still have that to chop down. Get the apples. Alright. Now, let's go sort out our stuff before I continue on. See you going in and out of there, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Maki. Or, it's Miss Maki, sorry. I am so sorry that I did messed up that. Alright. Uh, let's go. Let's go check out town, I suppose. Oh, I could also go talk to Pam. Um, I also have. <laughs> I have a lot of different types of quests. I feel like a lot of the things I have to do are at night. Kent and Jazz are an interesting area. What are you doing? I think you are definitely lucky. Uh, I was starting to gather so I shouldn't be too 
frightened about this. Hmm. I'm kind of checking the bushes and shaking them because I don't do that too often. Oh, hey, Elliot. How are you doing over there? It is windy, I suppose. Yes, it is. Uh, I got stuck on the b bush branch. Something. You can't shake those trees. How's Sebastian doing? Oh. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't think of me to regret life like that. That's awful of me. You think I could actually, like, mess up someone's life by doing that? Uh. Clinic. Eh. Alright. How about the store? Yeah, I do. I have a rare crow on the farm, too. Alright, I'm gonna follow you outside, if you don't mind. I am friends with Alex. I'm friends with everyone. You're renting a room at a good price. Ah, uh, yes. I like family prices. Sometimes they're really good. Alright. I should probably go check out the birds. Birds? Okay. Whatever, birds. Uh, I should probably go check out the uh, mines so I can get farther in the mines. I didn't want to continue on the quest that I picked up where I'm supposed to be. Oh, hey, Maru. How are you doing, Maru? They are providing food. That's why mushrooms grow. They provide the food. Or they get food from the decaying things on the ground. Which is nice. I suppose. Pondering the data. Alright, I'm going to go in the mines. And I don't have a lot of food, but I stored some food, so I'm going to use that food. Rearranging. Okay. I'm going to see how far I can go in the mines. This should be fun. And hopefully my organization does me wonders so I don't have to be freaking out every time I see an enemy. You know, the fedora reminds me a lot of uh, being a detective. And I have to wonder if my... Oh, I guess my character would have some good detective sense because... Uh, well, I like mystery novels a lot. I like the visual novels, visual novel games that also involve solving mysteries. But, uh, I think my character is definitely into a little bit of mystery in her spare time. To be fair, I did not have my sword. I was too focused on the, uh, on the rock. There's a lot of enemies around, so I need to be extra careful. I'm gonna leave him in his little cage. <laughs> One of my favorite, uh, mangas, actually, is, uh, uh, Case Closed. And it features a 
high school detective boy who was finding uh he, he was looking into a gang of bad guys that were acting suspicious in the amusement park and then he got shrunk hang on a second <laughs> I kind of treat my cat like how the Mandalorian treats the child he's like stay no no kind of somewhere to Robin's because I wanted to build the barn. That's what happened. It's okay though, I made it to level 110 and I got the space boots. The space boots. An iridium weave gives them a purple sheen. They're better than my other ones. Also, I love them because they're purple. Oh, you can kind of see it. Look at my feet. Ah. Alright, it's a... Uh... It's a nine o'clock. I made some progress. Let's put away the food. And also put away the other stuff. Burglar's shank. Where did I get this? <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, so I got those put away. Put those away. And let's leave. If I continued any longer, I would have, uh, I would have definitely ran into some trouble. But yeah, Case Closed is a very good manga series where Detective Jimmy Kudo is, uh, actually I'm going to check something else real quick because it's nighttime and I'm near the train station. I saw Sebastian go in there. I just saw him walk into the house. I cannot follow pursuit, however. Okay. But yeah, Jimmy Kudo is a cool person. He gets shrunk and turned into a kid, and then you, uh, he does adventures on solving mysteries. But he can't say anything to the police because the police do not believe him. No, don't ever believe a kid when they say that they see a murder. <laughs> I definitely would have think that at some point you would have to question your life if you don't believe in, uh, hello, Hana is no milk. It's because I milked Hana, not Gonta. And pigs don't produce milk, so... Yeah. There we go. We have duck feather, no cotton, or rabbit's foot. I don't know why I called it cotton, it's called wool. I don't know. Anyways, let's put seeds away. I'm gonna sell some things so that I could get that all sorted out. Sell the iridium stuff. And sell that duck feather, why not? Alright. Put the other things away. Oh. Hello, diamonds. Diamonds can go in there. Also, I missed the stuff. Alright, let's get the egg and this. Here we go. And egg. Don't eat the egg. I don't remember if that egg, like, kills you or not. I don't want to risk it. Alrighty. And in the next episode, we'll do more things in Stardew Valley. We'll see you guys then.